healthcare and uh, you know every aspects of life humanities or it could be a learner or educator so that's why i saw i thought the advancing the future to thrive in next normal so there is plenty you know if you read between the lines how quickly we have to bring the future right that is what we required yes past has happened uh, we know we empathize there have been a displacement with a 20% of uh, our population being migrant we empathize with them we also uh, you know to, to take this opportunity to thank uh, all the people who uh, safeguarded us right uh, be it uh, you know the security or the police or healthcare i think they really did fantastic uh, last 60 days uh, for us you know to be safer so uh, what it means for us i think we should stop uh, saying that we need to get back to normal see that word normal is not going to be there anymore i'm sure already changes have been uh, there so instead we like to see what the future is going to come right uh, like bill gates said uh, change takes time right i think we all as a uh, b school students the, the industry or the academians or the educators we all uh, written a lot of theories right on a yuka world vulnerability uncertainty a complexity and ambiguity right now that is all uh, was theory right we had many case studies we all went through exams ourselves we did theses doctoral studies but today it's more like a practical scenario right whatever we did all the yuka world today exactly what we see uh, we don't know what the future going to be but having said that we have to have a positive mind and uh, put that uh, acceleration forward so i'm just giving you a little bit of perspective from industry uh, yes you know this is not covid colors to start with uh, red and orange and green but you know some of the industries have taken a hit we all know especially hospitality the airline and uh, you know restaurants and other stuff but having said that with little bit of innovation right people are now doing Uh, what you call cross collaboration for example uh, people like uh, a zoom cars right where we could hire cars they have been used for ferrying the healthcare and the you know today health as uh, nurses and doctors right or a simple uh, google pay is now collaborating with uh, dunzo which is i know dunzo you know which is uh, uh, probably a courier sort of service right or a government uh, indian postal service not only they are dispersing the money in uh, rural and uh, uh, you know deep villages they are also ferrying some uh, uh, i heard last they were ferrying mangoes and other stuff right so the each industry now they are looking at little bit of uh, innovation and also you see uh, big players the automotive sectors right where they are uh, maybe doing a uh, manufacturing high end cars today now they are looking at uh, what is needed now right the priority is uh, making ventilators right uh, to start with we had uh, each ventilator was costing probably 4 to 5 lakhs what i understand but today with the uh, technology and the 3d printing and uh, thing it has now come down right so everybody is now looking at the next uh, set of innovations and uh, i'm sure the industry i know it has taken a big uh, 60 days uh, hit uh, for example there are some uh, industries uh, which really is now thriving for example online uh, learning and platform today we are now uh, you know, hosting this webinar and this right uh, look at the uh, possibility of 5g already korea is uh, adopted this the whole country right very soon we'll be adopting 5g which is going to enable uh, probably not only us there is also like uh, professor said uh, uh, there is going to be a challenge with uh, rural and uh, you know uh, deep villages we need to go so there is a digital divide we call so hopefully with this uh, telecom and also low uh, orbit satellites uh, which we will be able to reach and uh, provide those uh, you know the things like schooling and other stuff right so i'm just going through a little bit uh, you know in the terms of uh, what is industry we all know understand that uh, budget and uh, there a little bit of uh, crunch on resources uh, talent is going to be uh, still uh, be bit some of the niche talents is going to be hard to get uh, right uh, so we are going to see what how things i know the banks uh, or governments are working full time to see how we look at the bankruptcy laws or uh, non performing assets right but uh, there is always uh, you know uh, a silver lining there is a dark cloud ahead of us yes 
but uh, everybody is doing their best. For example, the insurance industry, right? They are now looking at what is that uh, most. This has been. Uh, this is not just an event, right? Now it happened and as an event. Now it is becoming a process, right? So how much their their business is now uh, stretching? Uh, we are looking at those sort of things. And what are the challenges we are now looking at? For example, uh, uh, the organizations are looking at uh, financial constraint. That is number one. Uh, like in the UCA world, right? We all know what is uncertainty. How do we plan? Uh, agility is one, right? In terms of decision making, uh, or we have to make some changes. So it's not just so the leadership is now at uh, you know the, the test for leadership is for culture. It could be the leadership qualities. Uh, it could be the business model. Uh, and some of the things we also see how with the remote working, how industries. I'll give you a little bit of insight how we are uh, doing the. Remote more working and keeping uh, the lights on or uh, sustaining the whole thing right and still as a business person we always have challenges right competition is one so there is an always looking at things how we uh, look at the competition and what it means for the customer emotions right what used to be a delight now a bit of anxiety uh, even people uh, ordering a uh, you know take away a pizza or anything there is some uh, uh, element of anxiety here uh, and there is uh, what we call now uh, zero trust means always check again um, just for your information my credit card was hacked uh, probably it was you know with the international uh, some transaction has happened uh, luckily 755 rupees so it was middle of the night uh, next day morning sms i got so i had to block the card right so look at that the, some of the uh, uh, anxiety moments we are facing now so uh, the going forward there is a thing say zero trust is uh, within us and there will always be skepticism in uh, dealing with everybody now so uh, we'll see some of the things and as a sales and uh, people are in marketing sales i know there are there are some variants of how people are setting targets probably are we looking at the original targets uh, last financial year we have said are we going to meet the targets or are we going to see what is the hail mary means in a football term go as you take right let's see you know as we cross the bridge and see what it takes or are we looking at really realistic plans uh, you know what we have in terms of inventory or it could be our uh, uh, funds available or right things like that so you can see a lot of uh, uh, business uh, retargeting so how the businesses are looking at uh, reassessing and responding and recalibrating Okay. Of course, the finance. We are also looking at how the impact on cash flow, uh, revenues, and uh, forecast. Uh, and from uh, the HR perspective, how we are, uh, how are we able to manage? For example, at Wipro, 97% of our workforce now they are working at uh, remote. Uh, very less uh, people who are in, uh, uh, you know, essentials are working inside the campus. Even for me to go to campus, I am not allowed. So uh, we are uh, not only that, right? We also have. Uh, all over the scattered around India. Uh, how do we enable give them desktops or secured uh, VPN connections, right? Without impacting our customer data, right? So in terms of uh, you know supply chain, how do we readjust inventories? There are many examples. For example, my friend who is running a chemical factory, uh, he was supplying 